My name is William Gasser with the Africa Town Coalition. And while we know a lot of these problems are general banking issues, what we haven't talked about is the culture of anti-blackness and exploitation. Wells Fargo and PNC, your predecessor bank, made money off our ancestors in slavery. And since that time, we've seen a number of these programs come, particularly uh, luring in black women. And after you get found, you know, you get a small fine and you continue to you come a few years later with a new program. The 70s, this happened. The 2000s led to the 2008 housing crisis. In 2020, in response to George Floyd, several of your banks said you were putting billions of dollars in our community. Last summer, we found Bank of, Bank of America has 96 plus thousand homes in foreclosure. Wells Fargo has 84,000 plus homes in foreclosure. Chase Bank has 54,000 homes in foreclosure. In addition to these banking issues, Wells Fargo and PNC, you have invested in private prisons. In addition to those relationships, you have built with politicians who have criminalized our people to fill your prisons and to work as modern day slaves. So the thing is, when we go person to person and address these different issues, the biggest issue is when are you going to address the culture of anti-blackness in your institutions? When are you going to repair the damage that's already been done?